What's up, guys? So this is something that I wanted to cover just really quick, just kind of get it out there. When it comes to Spiral, I feel like Lionsgate has been given another opportunity. One of the things that I have constantly said about Lionsgate's handling of the Saw franchise is that they kind of drop the ball whenever it comes to marketing the dang films. Now, I've always said that back in the day, when we were getting Saw films every single year, and the tagline, if it's Halloween, it must be Saw, was not only true, but something to be expected. And a lot of people really didn't care. I mean, like, it was the only thing coming out. Everyone avoided it, yada, yada, yada. It made a lot of sense not to balloon the budget with a whole lot of promotional costs, and thus keeping every single film pretty cheap, allowing it to bring in a ton of money, and making the next film pretty much profitable before they even started filming it. I mean... That was the whole concept there, and it worked gangbusters for them. And I guess you can say that the same thing is true with Jigsaw, because even though they didn't put a ton of money into the marketing, there is a lot of indications that that movie was incredibly successful, even really before it went into theaters. I mean, Lionsgate really does own this franchise. They get to sell it in overseas content, people buy it up, and... Pretty much what was reported was it made its money back at least from the $10 million that they spent on that movie before it hit theaters. So I guess the concern here is because that movie underperformed in at the very least the most technical sense of the word, they weren't going to be able to sell it and probably make a profit before it hit theaters again. Now, of course, I should state that I don't know the business dealings behind Lionsgate or what they're doing with this stuff. I'm only giving you the stuff that I've read and the stuff that I know from following box office receipts and news for literally the past 15 years of my life. So really when it comes to people telling you what makes money and what doesn't make money, always take it with a grain of salt and know that nobody really knows what they're talking about. Even the people who deal with this on a day-to-day -day basis do not really know what they're talking about. Even with all of that being said, I wanted to go back to the concept of marketing spiral from the Book of Salt. Because in light of current events with the pandemic literally shutting Shutting everything down and pushing everything back a year, we are now waiting a little bit less than a year to get this film that we should have already had for over a month at this point. And I know that pisses a lot of people off. I, I feel myself especially getting more and more excited to see this film primarily because I thought we were going to be getting it in a couple months and now we we're going to have to wait an entire year and I guess absence makes the heart grow fonder and yada yada yada. But really when diving deep into the world of promoting movies, you know that they're going to have to kick off the promotion again. They were already kind of deep into it. I mean, it's not like they weren't spending money, they weren't cutting trailers and TV spots and all this other stuff. Really gearing up for the release of this movie that was only a couple of weeks away, by the time everything started shutting down and movies started being delayed. And if I had to be honest and give a little bit of critique to Lionsgate, I have the same problems that I had with Jigsaw. There's just not enough being done to sell this film. One trailer, that's it. Maybe a couple TV spots, and if you're in it, you're in it, and you really want to watch it, and that's totally fine. There was indication that there's a couple of Twitter accounts that are fairly active, but not so much, and they were pushing out some news or speculation or stuff that's supposed to be real world in the movies, but nobody really cared very much about that. So I think my criticism remains. They need to do something with this franchise and make it stick out just a little bit more try something new and original and I really think I might have an answer here something that I would be really excited to watch and I'm sure a lot of fans would as well something that my good friend Jacob who has covered this franchise with me time and time again on this channel and helped me do the Saul retrospective series thought of on his own and made an entire channel in order to do something similar to this point. So if you want to see his channel, I'm going to link it in the description section below and you should definitely go check it out. But I really think one of the things they could do to market Spiral is make a true crime YouTube series that deals with periodic videos covering the legacy of Jigsaw during the events of the first seven or maybe even eight films of the franchise. Now, I'm just going to go off on a limb here and think that most people who like the Saw franchise, the concept of a serial killer, the philosophy, why he does what he does, you know, the people who are super fans and not 
really the people who are in it for the blood and gore, but maybe some of those people too, also really like real crime podcasts or real crime YouTube videos where online personalities talk about real life homicide cases going into all of the gory details and really trying to tell us the story of the people behind the killings or the people who got killed themselves. I mean, seriously, I find myself watching that stuff a lot, especially in my downtime and a lot during this pandemic. I mean, I'm home all the time. It's something that kind of perks me up, as weird as that is to say. And I feel like that type of direction is kind of a retrospective on the entire series thus far, but also as a way of expanding the lore of the franchise and doing some viral marketing would be the perfect thing to do for this specific franchise. Franchise. And I'm not just suggesting they create a podcast or some kind of YouTube channel just to pump out promotional material for the movies, but maybe get already known people to do a promotional video for it and treat it like a normal video, like having very known popular YouTubers or even podcasters do an entire video set within the world of Saul and just saying at the very beginning, this video is sponsored by Spiral from the Book of Saul, and then they talk about a trap or something that happened in one of the previous eight films, while also sprinkling in a couple of details about the upcoming movie and how it's all interconnected. Thus, the fans can seek out those videos, and they get incredibly excited about all of those new bits of information while getting a chance to understand in broader context or just something a little bit more interesting or maybe just you know getting a refresher on stuff that we had seen in some of the other films and then maybe even a lot of people who come across those videos on a regular basis or genuinely seek them out find themselves drawn into the series even though they haven't already been because all of this stuff they're talking about is incredibly deep and really intricate so maybe the Saul franchise isn't what I've heard and they go look at it themselves and they're primed and ready and excited for the next movie. You know honestly for me one of the things I have constantly said on this platform is while I believe the Saul franchise is great I don't think it ever takes a whole lot of effort to try to sell itself. One of the biggest problems that I have with it is the exact same confidence that it has with its story that if you do not know what's going on after a certain point, well, that's pretty much on you is the exact same stance they take with marketing their content. And then they sit there and wonder why each film does a little bit worse than the last because people don't want to sit around and just think about these movies. They don't want to have to know that they have to keep up with it. And when they go see it and the movie actively makes them feel dumb, they get a little bit mad and they decide, well, I don't really want to see the next one because it was fairly confusing. Like, yeah, the traps might have been gory and that's what kind of bought my ticket the first time, but I don't want to see it again. I feel like I have to watch way too much stuff in order to get into it. And the movies and marketing really doesn't do enough to convey that you need to know this, this, and this, and then you're good to see the movie. This to me is something that could really help bring in new people, people who would be interested in watching a franchise like this, while doing enough of a recap to get people interested and even excited for the next film. So I'm just going to leave it at that, guys. Tell me in the comment section what you think about this. Lionsgate, Twisted Pictures, just whoever in the marketing team deciding to do a true crime podcast or some kind of YouTube channel or maybe just get known people who do this stuff on a fairly frequent basis and kind of get them to do one or two, maybe even three episodes before the release of Spiral in order to get their fan bases excited for this upcoming movie. To me, that would be a really interesting new viral marketing technique. But you know what? Tell me in the comment section what you think about it. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell over by the subscriber button to notify you every single time I upload. It's been real.